Hey guys, today's video is gonna be about the oxygen sensor from this BMW 1 series. We're gonna see how to remove and replace the sensor. I'm gonna show you how to use the data from the oxygen sensor in your favor when you diagnose a problem on your car. And we're gonna bench test the sensor so you can see the correct values you need to have on your car, on your sensor. And therefore you can rule out easier if the sensor is bad or not. And we've got here some interesting results. As you can see, the load value was high around 35% and then it drops suddenly to 6.53. You can see here the green line is the long-term fuel trim. It increases suddenly. When you have a positive fuel trim, it means that the computer of the car is adding more fuel to the system. And this will make sense because as you can see here, the load value is decreasing, which means that the demand for the air, it's also decreasing, but the turbocharger might be activated and is delivering air. So you have there for a short period of time, a lot of air. So that's why the computer compensates for that extra air with fuel. And you've got this spike here in positive fuel trim. However, something interesting is that the short term fuel trim is not reacting. Okay, so we've got the connector here. The oxygen sensor has also five wires. Here we've got this bracket, which you can remove and make sure that it doesn't jump on you. Looks like we can remove this. Usually after you break it loose, it will come out by hand. So this is basically the wide band oxygen sensor because we've got five wires. Okay, so let's first bench test the sensor. Considering that this is a known good sensor, let's place the black terminal on the first pin here. One and two, nothing. One and three, nothing. One and four, nothing. One and five, nothing. Two and three, nothing. Two and four, nothing. Two and five. It looks like full continuity, but actually if I decrease the range, I'm gonna get 2.7 ohms. And it makes sense because we've got the white and brown wire, which are usually for the heater course. I'm gonna increase the range here. Let's see, between 3 and 4, nothing, 3 and 5, nothing. And between 4 and 5, still nothing. Anyway, if you have this trouble code which indicates that you've got an open on the heater of the oxygen sensor, then testing these two pins here in the middle, you should find 2.7 ohms. Okay, so I'm holding the connector with this flat surface on my right, and I'm gonna start with this pin, the first one. We've got 2.93 volts, we've got the car battery voltage 12.35, I've got the 12 volt battery on charge because the ignition is on. The top right pin here, we've got 2.5 volts, now the pin on the left bottom 3.5 volts, the pin on the bottom right 0.96 volts. I believe this is the best information you can get if you want to diagnose if the oxygen sensor is bad or not, because then once you get these voltage values as I do, then you know that there is something wrong from this point to the oxygen sensor and nothing from this point to the computer. Let's install the oxygen sensor back and you can put just a little bit of copper paste on the threads, not too much to allow it to go on the sensor itself, but just a little bit so it will not seize. We should be able to tighten it by hand. Snug it in there. Alright, so I hope this video saved you some money by helping you to not buy a new sensor in the situation when you don't need it. As usual, have a nice day and I will see you in the next video.